Welcome back to the show. Let's talk to a uh, senior market commentator, David Buick from Pamela Gordon. Morning to you, David. Morning to you. WPP interim results this morning. What were the headlines for you? You know, Sir Martin Sorrell, when he's up three, four times a year, he normally does a round of the studios. It's the one performance I never want to miss. I'll tell you why. WPP, I think, is a barometer of economic uh, performance in the world yep. because it's a global thing. His performance today as a presentation as chief executive was absolutely outstanding. The content was not good. Right. Because the content said that like-for-like -like sales in the last six months were down 0.4%, that uh, they were expecting plus, or the analysts were expecting plus 0.7%. So in a company of that size, where I think the, the turnover in the last half year was something like 22 billion, I think. I haven't got my figures to hand here. So Martin was, for him, quite downbeat. Um, he said that the United Kingdom, surprisingly, because everybody's telling me that Brexit is destroying the country, which I don't believe, was the best performing area, which right. I found a great. The worst performing area was the United States of America. So everybody said, why? Because, you know, public content is very important, politics and that sort of thing, which WPP generally from PR and from an advertising perspective makes tend to make an awful lot of money out of, has been in the United States their worst performing area. The Far East was quite good and Europe was quite good, but relatively, but clearly everything's off the boil. So you try and work out, well, why is that the case? You can't sort of blame the Trump administration for the simple reason that the idea that he was going to chuck a trillion dollars uh, into uh, the makeup for infrastructure, which could have stimulated a lot of business, that didn't transpire, nor did healthcare. But nonetheless, the stock market has, you know, done very well. It's up ten point, uh, the Dow's up ten percent, and the roughly and the Nasdaq's up twenty percent. So he explained very carefully that the model for PR and for advertising has changed. It's now very focused on digital. Now, I saw a figure the other day that some of the big boys like Google, Apple, and Facebook corner about 30% of the entire yep. uh, digital advertising market. And this has clearly affected some of his franchises around the United States because the business is cornered. So what he's saying is this could be a good message for us to get our business model changed and focus much more on a global basis digitally rather than clearly the, the focus has been with these very large tech companies. He said tech's great and he also said that as far as he was concerned, the only other sector that was really booming was obviously healthcare, which is something that we're all going to have for the rest of our lives. It was a very sanitary lesson. It was a brilliant presentation. Clearly, the analysts didn't like it because it doesn't look as if the next six months is going to be brilliant because it's like a tanker. You turn it in another direction, it takes time. But I would be somebody who would never knock back Sir Martin Sorrell in the long term. David Buick, thank you very much indeed. Pleasure.